Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Cassidy Quistorf. I am the director of Klamath Film. Um, with me today is David, the filmmaker behind Unrestricted Flow, and Desiree, who is also featured in the film and a professor at OSU. David, Desiree, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is such an exciting film for us to be showing this year as the largest dam removal in history is undergoing um, right in our watershed and, and right where the headwaters are up here. Um, so, David, Desiree, do you want to touch a little bit about how this film kind of came together and, and working at OSU? Uh, sure. Yeah, we um, have a lot of researchers uh, from OSU and, and students who have been working for um, for many years in the upper and lower basins of the Klamath River doing various research projects. Um, and with the dam removals happening, we wanted to start documenting what's going on both during, before, and then eventually after the dams um, are removed. And uh, so, yeah, this particular project came together quickly. I was just really kind of prospect prospecting for a bigger story. And um, Professor Tullis uh, was has been working down there and was bringing her class um, down to the Klamath River, um, and they had one spot left. Uh -huh. So I brought a camera along, wasn't really intending to to create a complete film. I was more just looking for background information, and um, yeah, I'll let uh, Professor tell us talk about the class and and how that that trip came together with, for the students. Perfect. Yeah, please do. Uh, well, so I, I teach a class called River Engineering and Restoration, and it's a senior level and graduate student level course. And for most of the quarter, we're just in the classroom doing calculations on things like habitat structures or sediment transport, things that most people probably don't get very excited about. But there is a um, design component to the class. And so the design project for this year was to examine how the sediment pulse, the sediment that's going to be released with the dam removals, where that would go downstream. So I'd been kind of hatching this idea all along, like how do I get the students in the field? How do we spend time down there? This is a chance of a lifetime for them to see this place before it changes. And um, yeah, I just kind of 